Hi guys, so welcome back first of all. I'm going to be doing another print from this composition you've got right in front of me. This has dried quite well over the last couple of hours and I just really want to get another print outfit. So how I do this is pretty much the same process as I do each and every time. I just don't layer up the ink board. I just use a really wet piece of paper to try and get as much of the ink off the board as possible. I've got my wet piece of paper. I'm still using the same kind of sugar brown paper because I'm really obsessed with this at the moment. It's just a really different way of printmaking because it's so thin and because it's just a nice alternative to that's probably not as straight as I really liked it, but it's fine. Um, it's just a nice. It creates a different texture compared to normal paper. And it's just a really nice way of printing onto a different medium, really. One thing good about printmaking, if you use a water-based ink, it doesn't take very long to dry. I think the maximum I've ever waited is about an hour from when it completely dries. Compared to, let's say, screen printing, that takes at least a day until you can print on top of it just because of the nature of it. You don't want it to stick to the actual screen print again because then it ruins the kind of marks that you put onto it and it can shift around and like put more, what do you call it? It would transfer some of the marks across and then you've ruined your design basically. And there's also cardiograph printing. That's not too bad. That's the same amount of time depending again on the kind of printing medium you've got. Oil is good, it lasts a very long time as soon as you put it down, but the thing is though once it's dry, it's dry. Whereas water inks tend to reactivate when it comes in contact with water, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. Okay, it's definitely printed. It is a lot more subtle than the other one, and it's it's quite nice actually. This is a much more of a landscape print compared to the other one. Um, there's some very noisy children outside, I'll just wait for them to leave. <laughs> I don't think the children are gonna leave anytime soon, so I'll just talk, just try and ignore what I'm saying. And um, what's the same? Yeah, this is still quite successful because it's very subtle and you've got points of like really contrasting shapes and also like texture as well. I think it's really, really stunning actually. Um, it's not what I'm used to in terms of contrasting elements in a print, but it is just one of a kind, shall we say. And for not putting that much ink onto the board anyway, I think this is a very good successful print in itself. And I really hope you enjoyed this video, give this video a like if you did. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and also check out my description box for all my links to my social media and also including my eBay selling account, which is where I sell all my artworks if you are interested. Thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!